Hi guys, um, I'm, this is, um, which part is it? I can't remember which part it was. <laughs> I've got so many parts to do for group for these builds, I can't even remember. But anyway, this video is a flight deck installation for Akagi. Now, I know plenty of you guys are requesting to see this, um, this flight deck being put on, and... So without further ado, the time has come to connect her deck with the actual self. Some way that was made up. Let's show you the deck first. Oh, what was that? No, nothing. That's alright. We have the deck um, installed along here. Uh, I have to say, I believe I've done very, very well on this. It's all these um I don't what do I call them? Markings? Yes markings, yeah. These runway markings are all painted on. And the fabulous detail in the deck in the decking is so so nice. Uh, I told you I need to get a better camera someday. Of course, this that was um, in case where you knew which carry it was just by have a look at the equation there. Underneath you got the detail underneath here for the searchlights and the um, cranes, and you got the front here as well. Not there. So let's get some of the way. Now you'll bet you're wondering what these holes are for here. Well. It's first. It's not the uh, the hanger. It's these little holes here. They um, screw onto the top. So if you want it motorized, you can take um, have a look at the battery pack inside. But either way, I was gonna pull it on with the screws. But I've just had a look through my box and I can't find it. This is really bugging me. I cannot find the screws to uh, screw it in. But I figured after look at some detail like it it doesn't look really nice with the screws in because it kinda of goes away with the detail. So if if I put an aircraft on it like that, it covers up the hole which makes it look even better. So I'm I'm not gonna really like like fill the holes in if you know what I mean. So that's that's, 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 I think I really need, need to work on my annotation for this. So let's try this now. Let's flip the saver onto the deck like that. You can all see. Now, these parts at the front here need to line up with this. So, that's it. There's nothing, I'll, nothing to hold it down. Typical, isn't it? I'll put some sellotape around it. There's a sellotape. That's, that's typical, it's just like all fold into one now. It's gonna take a while, guys. This video can, and I think video can, and I think I need to work on my. Um, you probably heard that, youngsters. So don't go repeating it. Actually, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take that off. Strap this round underneath, like so. So when this is placed on like that. I'll hold that in position like that. So that's hmm. It's gonna be it's going to be interesting. Who's got that end on? 
and th this end is just slotted in by itself, that's pretty good. So even though it's an old Hasagawa kit, it is still slotted in. You know, like all the things, like all the struts and that in play are in place, so that's very, that's very touching that is. Come on, you stupid thing. Right. And still it's not even lined up. There you go. Let's put that on now. This is a very long and daunting process. There we have it, guys. We got it. We got it. That's that. What's that I have to notify there is plenty of, there was, well there was, plenty of um, like seam lines you could see throughout the ship so that was kind of a bit annoying in some aspects. Right, so that's perfectly in place like that, it's just this part in the middle here that may have to, yeah. Oh, elastic bands, elastic bands, where... I freaking had one somewhere, where's that gone? Oh! I had one, just... I, I, need, I need to clear up on this desk, it's completely, completely stupid. This one on. No pegs, plenty of pegs, but no has it bands. <laughs> this is I had plenty a minute ago, so where have they all gone? Just comment below if you think I'm just losing the box. <laughs> right, that's that part. There you go, guys. We have now the Akagi's deck on. On. Um, I'm going to find some more elastic bands, get her glued in place, and then we're going from there, really. But overall, she's. Looking very, very good. Get that folded down there. Hmm. Still think elastic bands. This side ain't clipping in. It will do, just takes bloody forever. Right, I'm gonna come back, guys. We're gonna get everything. I'm gonna get everything sorted for you. Uh, I know, I know, no, no, I promised. Um, see the whole deck in place. Right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna rest her upside down, leave it to dry. Uh, well, first off, I'm going to glue these parts. Um, actually, no, I won't. I won't actually leave you. You actually wanted this to be shown, so I'm just going to carry on glue these parts in place. Right, 
works. So, you've just probably just seen my head in the very way. Finally now looking like a proper aircraft carrier she once was. It's holding most of her down. There you have it. She's now letting that dry. I'm, I'm going to find some more elastic bands. Be back with you in a second. Right, guys. I know now that some of I've. I'll start again. Hi, guys. I know that uh, you most of you have been looking at a bird's eye view of the model, mainly from up there, not down here. So what I've decided to do is take the camera off the tripod for a bit and show you about a bit what we've done so far. Um, the deck, uh, what you just watched, is in place. I put the hatches on. There you go, it's focused now. Um, I have to turn it back on and on, off again in order to make it focus, which is a bit crap if I'm honest. So the planes are nicely detailed on there. So you can perfectly see all the nice detail of in the in there. All the railings are on. So it looks really, really nice. Sort of uh, massive funnel you just got in there. Uh, this is another aircraft defence part here. So that's got a lot really interesting. Come down here. It's the front part of the deck and. The railings down there, they, they, the railings just give it a bit of a nice texture it does. So that's that way, going back here, you've got the movable cannons across here, if they want to move. Yeah, they, they do They do move, they just don't want to, they, get, they, just, they just don't want to. That's there, we've got another anti-aircraft part up there. This is the section where the lifeboats are stored, anything else like that, and then finally back along there. So it's all looking good so far, and I actually like this standard sign because it's like all engraved detail. Um, you just make it like a 145th scale model of Kagi, then you've got the Japanese writing for it, so that's really, really nice touch. Let's, let's spin it around. Again. She, yeah, she's she's looking really nice, guys. I'm I'm genuinely just like liking her. Now she is developing. Now same going frontier, more railings, and there more anti-aircraft defences, the command control towers. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what this part is, the structure here, I'm not sure what that was for. This is where the control tower will sit upon there. Uh, put some more railings across that part then. Of course, I re I'm really liking these little aircraft, I mean the size of them. I just, I think I already showed you a bit there. That's ten, 10 pence compared to the size of it, so... Pretty, pretty small these aircraft are. I know you can build um, one one seven hundredth scale model ships, which I would like actually like to try and have a go at one day. Like um, a famous uh, Japanese battleship, maybe Congo or Nagato, something like that. Uh, yeah, that's that's looking good. Um, why, why isn't it focused? Hold on. So there we go, back to the beginning. Um, yeah, our camera kind of died when spinning around. Thank God I've left these batteries on overnight for a like, very long time. Uh, more than actually overnight, more than 48 hours. Kept 
kept forgetting to switch them off, but anyway, they've had a good charge. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, she's come along very nicely. Like all the detail, everything else like that. That's really it. So, I'll say, um, hope you enjoy part 7. Uh, part 8, I'm not sure what to do for this one. Um, can you help me guys with this one? Either the control tower or the AA guns. Um, preferably the control tower because yeah it's part of the structure and then we put the AA guns afterwards as a small delicate detail but yeah, again I'll watch you have anyway so that's really it guys thank you very much for watching um, and I'll see you for the next video probably soon